Sup? Good morning, team. Today is another edition of Fitness Talking with Kev. Now to the greatest intro on the internet. Roll it! Fitness Talk, Fitness Talking, Fitness Talking with Kev. Yeah. God, I'm so talented. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kevin Morrison, and I've been a personal trainer for nearly 20 years. And in that time, I've gained some insight into the fitness industry, the human body, and more so than anything, which is what we're going to talk about today, the human mind. Because what is fitness but an attempt to better ourselves, to master ourselves, one might say, both inside and out, to engage in whatever physical practice makes you feel like you're becoming a better person. And I think what most people are familiar with as a consequence of trying to better yourself, you run into a lot of pitfalls and you fall down a lot, you scrape your knees both metaphorically and literally, and you don't actually achieve what you set out to achieve and that sucks. And then all these folks on Instagram are like all jacked and swole and you're like, man, I wish I was that. Why can't I be that? I suck. Why do I suck so bad? I'm about to go down a suck spiral of suckness. (laughs) We've all been there. But on the road to helping people achieve their goals, and as a consequence of having achieved a few things myself, and just as a matter of growing the fuck up, I've realized a few very important things. And I know the sexy topics of conversation are what do I do about this? What do I do about that? But that's plastered all over the internet and you still haven't done it. Yes, you may have tried out a couple of things, gone to a CrossFit class, for instance, maybe done F45 for a couple of months, actually tried in earnest to eat salad every single day. But what the so-called fitness industry is neglecting, and what's so obviously the most important aspect of your fitness, is your state of mind. Let me give you an example. One of the most important lessons that I learned as a coach, just training the general public in the last 10 years specifically, is that the majority of people use the gym as an outlet. And honestly, I say good on them if the alternative is to do something destructive to your health, but it's not exactly a long-term solution, is it? We live in a world with very little patience, man. And as such, we look online for magic pills that we think are gonna make us better. We do this in our relationships, we do this to try to make more money easily, and we most certainly do this with our health. But as anybody doing this for long enough will tell you, to actually build a physically capable, healthy, and aesthetic physique is a steady process that happens over the course of many years. But what most people actually don't tell you to me is the most important thing, that along the way, you're gonna learn about yourself that the juice is worth the squeeze, that this endeavor towards trying to be a happy, healthy, fit person might very well be one of the most important things that you do. And along the way, you're gonna fall on your ass. My best back squat is 435. My best half marathon is one hour and 36 minutes. And for any of you CrossFitters out there, I can do 16 ring muscle ups in a row. And while none of those things are elite level numbers, I worked for decades to try and achieve them. And along the way, I suffered ankle, knee, and hip injuries shoulder injuries, setbacks in my personal life, massive financial setbacks. I had to come to a reckoning with what I really wanted to do with my life. I left family behind. I left cities and people that I loved across the country. And I became so depressed that I wanted to just die. And it was the discipline of the daily effort in the gym that pulled me through. And that's despite the fact that I suffered a million setbacks. The key was that I actually had something to work towards. And although my goal was to be a professional athlete, and spoiler alert, I never even really got close, I learned way more about myself along the path than I ever thought possible. I learned the two most important things that you need to know. Discipline is more valuable than motivation. You need to give yourself a break. You know, a little bit of grace goes a long way. A little bit of space to put between us and our goals. Maybe a couple of deep breaths or an acceptance of where you are so that you can come out of hiding, out of the shame that you find yourself in for not being where you want to be. Man, I'm all for heavy metal music and pushing yourself to the limits when necessary. Trust me, man, I don't think that anybody in the world is more pumped to go to the gym than I am every single day. And while achievements that you had to go through hell to get are nice, the numbers that you hit in the gym, the aesthetic that goes along with it, they don't mean everything and you are worth way more than those things say about you. I love how people push themselves and I love the fact that we have this whole industry dedicated to people pushing themselves. But there's a difference between taking the work seriously, which is discipline, and taking yourself seriously, which is anxiety. Look, I don't want to preach to anybody, man, but I think that the solution to our depression and anxiety and as a consequence, the dysregulation of our health, diabetes and obesity, cardiovascular disease, metabolic dysfunction, is that we slow down and give ourselves some room. 
is that we stop distracting ourselves so much with our phones and instead we just find a little bit more discipline throughout the course of our day. To think about physical activity not just in the form of what it's going to get you aesthetically, but to recognize how powerful it is for your state of mind. I have fallen on my ass so many times and I've tried probably too hard to achieve certain outcomes. And while some of the results were pretty good, I did it for the wrong reasons. And if there's anything that I could tell somebody who's trying to accomplish some physical feat, it doesn't define you. You have more to offer. You're worth more than that. I hope this one wasn't too much of a ramble. You know, I just wanted that one person to hear that if you didn't yet know that everything was okay, despite how you might feel, it's okay. Give yourself some grace. Create a little bit of space between the person you want to become and the person you are now. And accept the person that you are now, despite all of their shortcomings, in the same way that you would do a friend or a family member. Treat yourself like that and you have the capacity to grow in a meaningful way that actually leads towards something wonderful. Because going too fast doesn't work. And using the gym as an outlet to get out all of your shit doesn't work. It leads to burnout and ultimately becomes a complete waste of your time. So chill, everything's okay. You can't do everything at once. Work hard, take the work seriously, but don't take yourself so seriously. You only get one life. I'll see you in the next one.